codex does illustrate constellations along the path of, of their text. But the thing is, they're separated by 168 days. They're not just like in between each other, so I gotta study that more. Something very weird, very interesting, I found out about, well, one version says, you know, the five days out of time, the Oyeb, I think you could pronounce it. Those five days out of time were from like February 8th to February 13th. I read this one very reliable site. My birthday is February 10th, so does that mean that like my spaced out attitude is a personification of these days out of time? I mean, a lot of the math is still kind of in the air. They say Jupiter Saturn conjunctions occur about one cartoon apart. And five cartoons were equal to 313 revolutions of Mercury. 13 cartoons are equal to 121 revolutions of Mars. And 27 cartoons were equal to seven returns of Halley's Comet, like I said with Mark Twain in the Nietzsche's Significance video. These cartoons are a complete synchronicity with planetary orbits. Every rotation of the planets could also be categorized like this, like 42 tropical years equals 260 times 59. 405 lunar months equals 260 times 46. 61 Venus years equals 260 times 137. One Mars year is 260 times 3. And 88 Jupiter years, that's 260 times 135. I mean, these planetary uh, circulations are corresponding exactly to what the Mayans consider time to exist in. So this means that other planetary orbits and other star systems could potentially have the same orbits as our planets. Like, these planets just so happen to work so that life could form around one specific planet in that solar system. So what Robert D. Pettin says, copywriting him because I have to, and he says that 260 days is optimum for creating interlocking cycles linking the tropical year and the synodic periods of the Moon, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. What I'm trying to say is that time is of substance. This one guy left a comment said that Einstein disproved the ether. Well, his version of time-space being one is the ether to me. Like, that's exactly what it's supposed to mean. So if these, if these planetary orbits are corresponding to Mayan dates, then 2012 ain't nothing.